First on Fox, a violent week in downtown St. Louis leaves two people shot to death and two others injured. Fox News' Jordan Williams is live at a downtown hotel where two of those shootings happened and a suspect was taken into custody. Jordan, what's the latest? Good evening, Jasmine and Shirley. Police held a press conference earlier today and they mentioned one thing, pointing to cameras like these outside of this Marriott Hotel garage in downtown St. Louis where they were able to catch that suspect they believe is responsible for these two shootings. I asked or I talked to residents in downtown St. Louis and they tell me it's great that police are able to catch these suspects, but more needs to be done to prevent these violent crimes from happening in the first place. It's really a, a great place to live under normal circumstances. The life is really a great place to live under normal circumstances. Can, can y'all, can y'all, um, Decode that for me. Can somebody in the chat translate that for me? Can you translate what this glider said? It's really a a great place to live under normal circumstances. The last one. <laughs> Can somebody decode that for me, man? I need help, man. I need help. Um <laughs> I need help translating that for me, man. What's this glad of saying, man? <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And crimes from happening in the first place. It's really a, a great place to live under normal circumstances. The last week in downtown St. Louis has been anything but normal. Last week, a 30-year-old man was shot and killed in broad daylight in Keener Plaza. On Wednesday, Latasha Stewart killed at this parking garage. Give me an ID on Latasha Stewart. <laughs> Can I get an ID on Latasha? And killed in broad daylight in Keener Plaza. On Wednesday, Latasha Stewart killed at this parking garage. And about 24 hours later, another shooting in the same garage. Police believe the same suspect is responsible for both. He is now in custody. You're always afraid of getting caught in a crossfire somewhere. Les Sturman is the chair of the Citizens for a Greater Downtown St. Louis. He's lived in the area for nearly 20 years, but tells me he thinks about moving out every day. There's lots of police here when there are big events, uh, when it's a big sporting event, or today we got Cinco de Mayo plus a baseball game. There'll be lots of cops down here. But it's all those other times when uh, when there really is very little police presence. Amiris Nance has not been in downtown for 20 years. In fact, she's only lived in the area less than a month, but has already experienced 20 years worth of trauma. But in a matter of three weeks, having a homeless man found in your building, your car vandalized just because you forgot to lock it, the shooting, literally being harassed by a homeless man, it's a lot. Nance, who's worked... <laughs> I know a lot of times y'all try to say, how do you know this person's a liberal? You can't just say that person's a liberal, you. Listen, <laughs> this woman voted for this, Jack. I promise you. I promise you she voted for it. And the thing about this one right here that's a little different, if you put a ballot in her face right now. She will vote for it right this second. Again. There are times when, uh, when there really is very little police presence. Amiris Nance has not been in downtown for 20 years. In fact, she's only lived in the area less than a month, but has already experienced 20 years worth of trauma. But in a matter of three weeks, having a homeless man found in your building, your car vandalized just because you forgot to lock it, the shooting, literally being harassed by a homeless man. It's a lot. Nance, who's worked in downtown for nearly five years, now walks with mace and a taser. Trying to get adapted to it, because I am a St. Louis girl, but working and living downtown is totally two different opposites, totally. Both tell me more needs to be done. For me to actually live in it now, and be a part of the victims and it's, it's really kind of close to home. We've got to do more to prevent things from happening in the first place rather than just cleaning up and mopping up after them.
Les Sturman telling me it's not only up to police, but also the community mentioning that it would be great if more people in downtown St. Louis voted, because once you share your voice and your vote, elected officials have nothing to do but to listen. In downtown St. Louis, Jordan. These people don't, these people vote, gonna vote for Democrats, man, every time. Voting is, voting doesn't do anything. To them, voting only means voting for Democrat. Not voting for a Democrat is not even in the fucking equation. Okay? It's not even in the equation. We begin here at four with some breaking news this afternoon. An arrest made in connection to a shooting at the Marriott Hotel parking garage in downtown St. Louis. Two men were shot while on the third floor of the garage on North 10th Street yesterday. Police say they were approached by an unknown man who fired shots at them. One victim was shot in the forearm, the other in his midsection and leg. This is the third shooting in that parking garage. Earlier this week, we told you about 56-year-old Latasha Stewart. She was found by officers shot multiple times behind her car on Wednesday. The East St. Louis mother of three spent years pleading with the public to help find her son's killer. Police say the arrest today is related to last night's shooting. They are oh, working. Shit. That woman, <laughs> the woman who got shot in St. Louis, her son got murdered back. Oh, my God. I told you every time we talk about one of these, every time they talk about one of these sons, man, they know somebody else who's get somebody else who got murdered. Man. East St. Louis mother who had spent the last years searching for her son's killer becomes a murder victim herself. She was killed inside a parking garage outside her workplace in downtown St. Louis. Fox News' Kelly Hoskins spoke with the family who made an emotional plea for help. A police identified the victim as 56-year-old Latia Stewart, and we're told that Stewart was an employee at the Marriott Hotel here in downtown St. Louis, and her body was found at the Marriott's parking garage behind me, behind her vehicle. She got in the car leaving her job. They shot her three times. And whoever shot my wife, God to see you, he's gonna take care of you. And he Damn. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Poor guy, man. To see you, he's gonna take care of you. And he's St. Louis family overcome with grief after their loved one was shot and killed after leaving work. Police say 56 year old Latia Stewart was gunned down in the Marriott Hotel parking garage where she worked. Officers were called to the parking garage at North 9th Street and found Stewart shot multiple times. Her husband says she worked for the Marriott Hotel in downtown St. Louis for 20 years and wants the gunman caught. She was gunned down yesterday, shot three times. They killed my son a few years ago and she was seeking justice for our son. Poor, poor guy, man. Jesus Christ. Now, I wonder that guy said it would be better. What you say? What, what did y'all say when y'all translated it? No, it, it would be better without sons. <laughs> God, dog, man. Jesus Christ. Three times. They killed my son a few years ago, and she was seeking justice for our son. The Illinois State Police come to my house, tell me ain't nothing they could do. We talked with the Stewart family a few years ago after their son, 31-year-old Gregory Stewart, was murdered. He was a father of five and shot and killed in East St. Louis. Police are still searching for the killer. Now they done killed my wife, the same people, and now I don't know what to do. He says the same people. Oh, my God. Where's the protest, man? These people... With a protest, man. They done shot this black son, then came back and killed his mama, who was publicly on the news talking, trying to get justice. Black people completely ignore shit like this. This don't even, man, this don't even blip on the radar. Wow. Do about this situation. I don't have no help but God. 
Her co-worker says she will be missed. She was a pleasant mother. She was a great uh, person to work with. What I love about her is that she was a patient person. Police are reviewing security cameras on the garage. And the City of St. Louis Public Safety Department released this statement, and it reads in part. The St. Louis Police Department continues to have a patrol officers visible in downtown St. Louis areas, collaborating with the sheriff's officers, park rangers, and other public safety personnel. Well, at this point, authorities say that the shooter remains at large, and they're encouraging anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Kelly. Jesus, man. My God, this is a rough city, Jack.